science throughout our history has been about understanding the universe. Up until very recently, we could pick up any sphere of our understanding and make accurate predictions about the future just looking at the present conditions. But this changed around the 1920s when we stumbled upon the weirdo in science, quantum mechanics. Now, this fellow is unpredictable and yet somehow not erratic. This uncertainty makes it such an intriguing affair, drawing in the most peculiar bunch of people, unifying them, so to speak, under its own mysterious realm. Now, while some appreciated this uncertainty upon its dawn, not everybody was happy. One particular fellow called Einstein didn't like the notion of a world we can't determine the results of. And hence he was disapproved. Now, he stated that God does not play nice. This analogy isn't quite right if you peel it apart. Because if, given the initial conditions, with a little understanding of Newtonian motion, we can determine the outcome correctly. Now, with our current level of understanding, we know what the subject does to you. But, with our current level of understanding, the answer may frighten anybody with over a ninth grade mathematics level. It's probabilistic. Now, Newton was old news, and it was a completely open playground for particle frenzy. And frenzy it was until the founding fathers stepped in. One of them was Max Born, who proposed the wave function, which basically means that every quantum entity is not a particle, as would be commonly thought, but is a wave spread out in space-time like mayonnaise. This isn't totally accepted because of a few minor tweaks, but is as close as we've gotten to an analogy. It also states that when we observe a wave, it sort of vanishes to give the instantaneous position in space-time, which we call wave function collapse. He also states that the probability of finding that particle at that very position is directly proportional to the amplitude of the wave. To tell us more about this wave, we enter another very well-known physicist, Erwin Schrodinger. He gave what is known as the Schrodinger's equation, which tells us how the wave function evolves in time. This equation, mysteriously, has no derivation. In terms of a description, it can only be motivated. How he came up with it is yet a mystery. There is another thing that has intrigued enthusiasts for the many decades of its exist existence which is a paradox credited to him, the Schrodinger's cat. A cat is placed inside a box with a radioactive material which will decompose if agitated. Now, only after opening the box can we determine if the cat is dead or alive. There is equal probability for both. Put in more interesting terms, the cat is dead and alive at the same time. Now, disclaimer by the way, no cats were harmed in the making of this paradox, only physicists. Now, it would only be fair to talk about the guy who so loved at all, Warner Heisenberg. He gave what is known as the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which, notably, states that position and momentum of any given particle cannot be measured simultaneously. The accuracy in one of these measurements will give an error in the other. Now, this was no less than nuking the theoretical physics scene. What it basically meant was, the more you know, the less you know. And I guess that's the motivation for us to scope this vastly unknown territory with our pens and papers. To answer the question, maybe God does play guys. I don't know. Ask the cat. Thank you very much.